The January 6th committee investigating the attempted insurrection at the Capitol faces an uphill battle with the Trump administration officials it wants to question. This is the House Select Committee that is tasked with investigating the insurrection on Capitol Hill that happened on January 6th while uh, Congress was certifying or attempting to certify uh, the electoral results of the 2020 election won by Joe Biden. The select committee is composed of seven House Democrats and two Republicans. So far, four former Trump administration officials have been subpoenaed. Steve Bannon, Mark Meadows, Cash Patel, and Dan Scavino. There's a lot of resistance to these subpoenas as individuals claim that they're protected by executive privilege rules that are meant to protect conversations with presidents. For example, Bannon's refusal to comply with the subpoena resulted in a committee vote to hold him in criminal contempt of Congress. We believe Mr. Bannon has information relevant to our probe and we'll use the tools at our disposal to get that information. The full House of Representatives voted the same way as the committee. Take away a court's power to subpoena witnesses and it fails to be a court. Take away the Congress's ability to do the same and it fails to be a Congress. The House has voted in favor of sending the contempt resolution to the DOJ. This is in the hands of the Justice Department to decide whether or not they're going to pursue prosecution of contempt, of the contempt referral. Um, that means that Steve Bannon could potentially face a misdemeanor criminal offense with up to a year in prison or a $100,000 fine. The strategy behind those subpoenaed may be to slow the progress of the January 6th committee as much as possible. Hundreds of defendants in the January 6th events have been complying with the law since then, and that is essential to the continuation of the rule of law in America. But there's no exception for presidents, much less former political cronies of the president. The legal battle that unfolds from this lack of cooperation drags out a timeline that the committee may not have. They are uh, on a time crunch. They're trying to get this done as expeditiously and as quick as possible. With the midterm elections coming up, Republicans could retake the House, and because the January 6th committee was established on party lines, it exists at the discretion of whichever party is in power, meaning the Democratic established group would likely dissolve in a Republican House. Some legal scholars have said to us it, that even if the DOJ does decide to prosecute this contempt referral for Steve Bannon, that still could take um, quite a bit of time. It's not necessarily faster. So uh, there's a lot of TBDs there and we are trying to keep track of all of these witnesses and these people of interest to the committee as closely as possible.